Facebook and YouTube, all of it, to spread the word on this. But the bottom line is we still couldn't do it alone. So we worked with fabulous organization, uh, Gun Owners of America. They're huge and they, they helped us a lot. And of course, we worked with the NRA on, on the piece of legislation. And then we found a lot of other coalition partners as we were able to spread the word, mostly through social media sites. People were finding out about this proposal. And we were able to then, between all of the groups working together and emailing their databases, because our 500 people weren't going to do it, contact Congress. And we were able to actually influence the process enough that this amendment was brought to a vote. And from, as most of you know, getting a vote in Congress is, is incredible. So we were excited. We're going to have a vote. We're going to have a vote. And um, when it came down to it, unfortunately, we, uh, we weren't successful. Uh, we came up a few votes short. We had some Democrats who we, we were convinced we'd get their votes. They were from concealed carry states. They're, they're generally pro-gun, but they weren't with us on this. And uh, we, we were kind of dejected. I mean, we were happy that we had made friends, because that's how you get things done, is by making friends. We built our database through this process. We had grown our Twitter universe and grown our Facebook universe, and we got some great benefit out of it but we'd still lost. And so it's, it, we got to one of those situations where you have a silver lining, and that came the next day. When, uh, when we woke up and we saw that one of the Democrats who we thought would be with us and voted against us um, had uh, been on a radio program that night trying to explain her vote in Missouri and uh, trying to explain to Missouri voters why she, Senator McCaskill, had voted against our Second Amendment rights. And we had an interesting thing happen. She, she used the argument that having to recognize other states' concealed carry permits, even though it's legal in our state, was opening the door to having to recognize Vermont's gay marriages. Well, I won't get into the technicalities of all the legislation that was in this particular legislation, but one, it was an absurd argument. I mean, it's ridiculous argument. But two, we recognized a great opportunity. We already had our conservative coalition behind this gun bill, and they were already mad at Claire McCaskill. But we had a rare opportunity in politics, and it's the most delicious opportunity you can have, is to help undermine your opponent's support in her base. So we did. And we went after her for using a gay marriage scare tactic, basically, to explain, phony, explain her vote on this. And uh, we used the same tools. We started and made sure all of the folks who we were with on the amendment knew the situation and how she explained it. But then we also reached out to the gay left because we knew they, they wouldn't have liked this. They were being used as a pawn in, a, in, in her weak explanation. And they got riled up. And working through their email,